Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are talking about the Shantikai Fall Collection. Now there are two palettes and four lip cheeks in this collection here. So today we're breaking it down and we are talking about the Cougar Eye Quartet. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you know, I have an online beauty consulting service. This is a one-on-one -on -one chat with me. So if you have questions about your current beauty routine, if you need like a fresh set of eyes, that is the perfect reason to book a session. So go ahead and click the link in the description box down below to book your appointment. Like I said, this collection has two palettes. Today, we're just going to focus on one palette. We're going to do some swatches, two tutorials because there are four colors in here. So we're going to do two separate eye looks and some swatch comparisons. You may be surprised that I am going with the more neutral palette at first instead of the blue eyeshadow, but I was just feeling more of a neutral look today. And I went to get my hair done earlier and of course it had to rain. So I got a little bit uh, poofy here. So hopefully not too poofy. Let's start off by swatching the Cougar Eye palette. So as you can see, this has a Cougar on the compact here, and the uh, shades in the quartet are inspired by the colors you see on the Cougar's coat and the eyes as well. These are the swatches here. So we have two mattes. We have this one here and this one. This is going to be our neutral your Skin But Better transition shade that's going to be very fair. This one looks like a very dark gray. It isn't black, it obviously is a dark color, but I would say it's more of a matte that's a very dark gray. This color here looks amazing. It gives me a coppery, bronzy brown. I love it so much. And then up here, this one, and this one are more satiny, more pearlescent, whereas these ones are opposite um, in their matte finish. But this one gives me almost like a more cool, taupey, maybe a hint of pink in it. I don't know, I mean, this is the swatch here. On the eyes, it's going to be different, so we're gonna go ahead and play around. I've done most of my face off camera as well. Everything that I'm wearing is Shantikai and it's listed down below in the description box. So go ahead and peruse there. Same thing goes for the makeup brushes. I'm gonna start with my BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A505. This is perfect for more shimmering, sparkling eyeshadows because it basically has the same properties as a sponge tip applicator where it just picks up a lot of more shimmering eyeshadows. So going into this color right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pack my brush here because I'm just really curious how this will look on me because it looks like it has a bit of a shift so I just want to see what it'll be like this one is pearlescent for sure and it almost looks more golden I thought from this swatch here it might look lilac-y, but no, it's really nice. It's soft as well. Like it's not like a super sparkly eye look. It's very soft and subtle. And now let's go ahead and go into our very dark charcoal gray here with a refer brush. This is the 26. This is just a nice pencil brush here. And I'm going to place this on the outer corner here. You could place this dark gray before you're applying this shimmer color. It's just going to, like if you add the dark color um, after, like I'm doing now, it might just make the look a little bit darker. If you want it to be even more subtle and natural, I would say do the gray part first and then apply the more sparkly color. So I'm using this brush to apply the shade. And as you can see, it's dark, but it's not like a pitch black. You could add more and pack more on, but if your concern is the intensity and you don't want to walk around with like a black smoky eye, there's a time and a place, don't be scared off by this dark charcoal gray matte because you can definitely lighten it up. So using a Refer 14 brush, this is just like a perfect brush for going into the crease like this. And look, 
it's diffusing really nicely. You can make this more subtle. You can build this up and make it more intense, but just don't be scared off by that one shade. The reason I'm using one brush to apply the dark color and then another one to blend it out is that this way you control how dark it gets because if you just use one brush and do everything, it can get out of hand. And I'm just going to take this and just sweep it really lightly here. Okay, this eyeshadow here is done. It's just to be like the more I'm going to work in an office, be very simple, polished type of look. Let's move on to the other eye and have a little bit more fun. Let's start off by going into this color here. This is more of like a transition color and I'm going into a rougher 13 brush and I'm going to place this on the lid here and I'm also just going to put it in the crease. On me, this is like my skin tone, but lighter. So just depending on your skin tone, it could be a transition shade. You could also just place it on the lid here if you want something light. I like that there's a mix of matte and more satin pearlescent colors. It's just nice to have that balance. If you wanted like the easiest eyeshadow look, you could just do this and put on mascara because this light color makes my eye look more awake. Like it looks brightened and it doesn't look like I'm wearing eyeshadow, but I am. So if you just did this and put on mascara, that could also be a look. Now let's go into the fun color, this like bronzy, coppery shade right here. And the important part here is this BK Beauty brush. This is the 207. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow brushes ever. It's very short, stiff, and dense. So this is great because you can apply, you can buff, you can blend. It's kind of an eyeshadow brush that does a little bit of everything. So on mornings when you don't feel like playing around with a million things, it's very convenient. Just going to sweep this on the lid. And this is the color that I'm noticing fallout with. I'm just noticing a little bit here. Typically I do my eyes first, so now that I'm doing my face first for like this type of look, I find that I'm noticing when there's fallout more often, but I've been talking and applying and it's been very easy. This color is beautiful. If you love neutrals, if you love a brown eyeshadow, this eyeshadow is gorgeous. And with this brush, I went like this on the lid here and then I'm just going into the crease and I'm bringing it up a little bit higher, just like that. But this color, it looks like it's like two or three colors, but it's just one. I love an eyeshadow like that. It's less work for me and I look great. And then whatever is left on the brush here, I'm just going to sweep it under the lid here, under the lid, on the lashes, under the lid. That's insane. No, on the lashes, my goodness, on the bottom lashes. Now the blending brush that I used earlier, just for that really light color, just going to help blend this out really seamlessly. Using my handy dandy Shantikai Stress Repair Concentrate, I have a sample here and a Q-tip. You just take a little bit like this and then you just clean up any fallout. I hate using eye makeup remover to remove fallout because you're basically removing any skincare if you use eye makeup remover. Whereas if you just use like a little sample of eye cream, eye mask, eye serum, whatever, you just preserve all of your skincare goodness. Okay, so for the liners, I have a couple options here. For this eye here, I'm gonna go with a classic black. This is uh, black from Shalta Kai. This is the Eye Kajal. It's a nice, creamy, buttery, smooth liner. I'll do a swatch, but you know what a black eyeliner looks like. And then for this side here, I want something more brown, a bit warmer. I have a Shantikai liner here called Jasper. This is like a dark, rich, chocolatey brown with a little bit of gold to it. So it's just going to lean into this look here. So here are the liner swatches. You can go ahead and use what you have at home. I personally really like both of these. I Jasper especially. Like if you're someone who likes colorful liners, or if you want something that's just different than a plain brown or plain black, get Jasper because it's just like 
the little bit of a gold shift is really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a liner and then of course my Chantecaille Fossil Longest Lash Mascara. It's a great mascara. At first I wasn't convinced because it is a bit pricey, but it it's a mascara that has like skincare and lash care infused in it and it's unbeatable, unfortunately. But I always stock up when there's sales events, I always get a backup. Okay, this is the finished look here. So with liner and mascara, it looks a bit more put together. Go ahead and vote down below. Do you prefer a look number one here or a look number two? Honestly, I, I like both. I think they're both very pretty. I'm more drawn to this look, look number two. That's just kind of more my taste, my everyday style. I think they're both gorgeous. There's never like a wrong answer with this question of which look do you prefer? There's no wrong answer. It's just which is more your taste? Which one is more to your liking? Let's finish up the look with some lipstick here. I have two of the lip cheeks for this palette here. The first one is Yarrow and this one's a bit lighter. Let's go ahead and swatch Yarrow first. I love how these smell. They have like a little bit like a very faint vanilla cupcake smell. This is very pretty. It's peachy, it's pale, it's a very nude, your lip but better, very quick, very easy. It gives me a very neutral look. I think I like this color with this eye look a bit more. Let's go ahead and try the other one. This next one here is Prairie Smoke, and this one's a bit deeper. It almost matches my nail polish nicely. Prairie Smoke does look like my nail polish. Isn't that funny? I think I prefer this color, Prairie Smoke. It just, it's a bit more color on me. I think it kind of looks like my lip, but better, but like in like a mocha, nudie color. I think it works with both eyeshadow looks. It's really just a question of taste, but I think I'm going to leave this lipstick on because I prefer it a bit, more, a bit better. Okay, so I have quite a few shadows here I want to do some swatch comparisons with. I need to roll down my sleeve here. Uh, the first one I'm going to compare it to is Giraffe. This is also Shantikai. This came out, I think, last year, the year before. Honestly, it's hard to keep up with all these releases, but this one, for me, was like my Shantikai go-to nude neutral palette. So let's go ahead and swatch it. Giraffe had a lot more shimmer and sparkle going for it. Whereas this new cougar one is like, to me, it looks like the perfect neutral lover's palette. So here's Giraffe. It definitely has more shimmer, more sparkle. You have some nudes, but overall Giraffe is more intense, more shimmery, whereas cougar is just more subtle. I'm going to swatch Giraffe right next to this color here because I just think it might look sort of similar to it. I'm not sure. I just, Giraffe is one of the luminescent eye shades, one of the singles. I love the singles um, and I love Giraffe. So let's just see what this looks like. I would say that Giraffe is more gold. There's more gold to it and there's more shimmer. The luminescent eye shade range is definitely more high intensity shimmer, whereas this brown here is more subdued. So if you have giraffe, or just as a comparison, giraffe is just more intense and more gold. So if giraffe was too much for you, I think you'd enjoy this one. I also have this Baroque uh, single eyeshadow here from the Pearlescent collection here. I don't think this is going to be close, but I don't know, like it's a really pretty color and it just made me think at first of like this color here. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it up here. Yeah, this is not at all comparable. Like this one here, Baroque, is like more multi-chrome, pearlescent, has a shift, whereas this one here is like the way more neutral toned down version. I feel like this palette is really just like Shantikai's answer to like more neutrals, less shimmer, less sparkle. The one palette that uh, kind of came to mind when I was comparing uh, this Cougar one is the Dior Soft Cashmere because this to me has been like the neutral dream palette for a long time with a hint of cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this down my arm here. I really don't think that there are any dupes or similarities going on here. 
This looks way more cool toned compared to Cougar up here. I just thought, mm, maybe, but I don't see anything dupable here. I have uh, a single here from Sisley. I want to swatch next to this color up here again. This is the Sisley Sparkling Topaz. This is just like a really gorgeous one and done chocolatey brown. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it to that like sparkly, coppery brown color. So it's this one here. It's close. It looks much lighter compared to Giraffe up here and then the Cougar. This is much lighter in tone. It almost looks more cool tone compared to Giraffe. So clearly I have some shadows that I like and I buy similar shadows that I like, but I don't think there's anything here that's like a perfect dupe for what I own personally. I'm sure that dupes do exist out there. I just don't think that there's one here. Like obviously, Sometimes we have similar things because we like what we like and we kind of repurchase what we like. So that is it for the video. You let me know down in the comments if there is a perfect dupe for Cougar, but I think that this is one of my favorite palettes from Shantikai in a very long time. Like they have a lot of eyeshadows, but I've always been more partial to their singles and I kind of wish they would come out with more single shadows because I don't know, I feel like the Shantikai woman, the Shantikai client, doesn't want lots going on on the eyes. I mean, there was a time and a place and I love a blue eyeshadow. I'm looking forward to it. It's just, when I think Chantecai, I think like French makeup and very subtle, very neutral. So I'm very, very happy to see this. But I hope in the future, they come out with more singles because those are fun. And this could easily be a single. It's gorgeous. It could be a standalone. It's so lovely. But overall, I, I took off my swatch. I don't know why I'm still showing you. Um, overall, I think it's a really nice palette. If you like neutrals, if you want something more subtle, this is definitely for you. The next Shantikai video will be a little bit less subtle, a bit more intense, a bit blue. But you know, I'm a complex woman. I have complex tastes. And sometimes I want something a little bit more uh, extra. So anyway, that is today's video. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know what you think of the collection. Did you get both palettes? I think it could be easy to mix and match the lipstick with different palettes or mix some of the different shadows in the palettes together too. Sound off down below. If you're new to my channel, I hope you take the time to subscribe. And those of you who are returning subscribers, thank you so much. I really appreciate all of your love and support. I truly, truly do appreciate it. So on that note, I think that's all I have for you guys for today. So thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.